What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and today we're going to take a look at the Nembrini Audio PSA 1000 Junior Saturation Unit. This is a plugin by Nembrini Audio and it emulates the Sansamp PSA saturation units. Now, by the way, this is not sponsored at all. I have no affiliation with the company. I just downloaded the plugin and liked it so much that I decided to do this video. Now, I first heard about this plugin by my friend Henning Opperman, who's the mixing engineer of my band Ash Makers. And he mentioned that he would use this plugin on top of my bass tracks when he felt that they needed a bit more, more grit, more bite. And I mean, so far, I am extremely happy with the way my bass is sounding on those mixes. So I decided to give the plugin a try. So I'm going to show you three different mixes so you get an idea of what the plugin can do and what it sounds like. And in case you're wondering, OK, but as a plugin, I don't use plugins. I only use analog gear, you know, and pedals or amps. Even though you cannot get this exact same piece of gear, there is actually a PSA Sansamp in really small format. So you might want to get that in the end, but let's check out the sounds. Now here we're taking a look at my screen. And as you can see here on the top, this is my base DI track, which is clean. There is nothing there. It's my raw DI track. Then I have the final bass version, which is the mixed track that Henning did. It's got drive and compression and you name it. Then I have the drums, which are also mixed, and have the guitars and the guitar solos. So let's take a look at the DI first to see or to hear how it sounds like. It's just a DI track. And I was recording with my Dingwall Super P and my Noble DI. Now this is the final version of the bass though. Which is of course very, very different than the original track. Now let's listen to what the plugin can do. You know, it's here, I haven't touched anything and I'm gonna toggle it on and off now. It's off again. I'm gonna turn it on. And right from the beginning, you get immediately an amp-like character. You know, it sounds grittier, it sounds punchier, and I haven't touched anything on the controls. Everything's at 12 o'clock. Uh, so that alone is to me already really cool. Now, let's take a look at what these controls do, of course. And you're already hearing some distortion there. You hear that? It's starting to break up. You're losing a little bit of low end, but that's when the other controls come in handy. The bus controls controls the, uh, well, or the bus, bus knob controls the amount of low end being fed into the distortion secret, if I understood that correctly. So you can get a little bit of low end back. I mean, it sounds great <laughs> just doing that. I really like the sound. Now the punch control, I'm going to put everything back the way it was. The punch control 
uh, is, it does the same thing as the bus, but for the mid frequency. So it controls how much mid are going to be distorted. And that's really useful when you want to keep all th sections of your signal clean, but saturate those mids to bring the sound a bit more in the mix. And it's a very, I've noticed it's a very sensitive control, so a little bit goes a long way. Check this out. I mean, I've moved the knob a tiny bit and it's already making a big difference. This is flat. This brings out that... the nasal frequency, which helps you to cut through. I'm gonna show you that in a bit as well. And then the crunch is the same thing, but for travel frequencies. It accents the pick attack, for example. And then of course you have the drive, which controls the amount of saturation going in there. And it's fairly mild right now because the preamp is not that boosted. But that alone already makes a huge difference in how the bass sounds. And if you just want a little bit of breakup, you know, to glue things, something like this, is a great tool for that because it is not like overly you know distorted the sound it is not like smudging all your low end it is not changing a lot of the color of your your sound it just you know adds some richness to it and makes the sound fit in a mix it's really a great tool now, if I start cranking the preamp together with the drive here, you're gonna start listening to what it has, uh, what it does. If you wanna really, you know, get it extremely nasty. You can do something like that, right? I probably want, don't want to go that way <laughs> or that, that route, so we're gonna uh, pull back the drive again, uh, pull it back, and then the lows and the highs are just an EQ control uh, plus minus 12 dB on each, if I remember correctly. And then on top you have the wet and dry knob, which is awesome, so you can blend the signal. So if you want to really crank that preamp and that drive and you know annihilate your signal but still want to retain some dynamics you can do something like this let's listen to how it sounds actually in a mix without now with is it this So it definitely helps to cut through in a mix and I'm not doing anything crazy, I'm not boosting too many things, just a little bit of drive, a little bit of here uh, travel uh, on the crunch, not doing anything on the punch, boosting a little bit of highs, but it has a very cool effect on the sound and if you listen to it it's on its own. Really good. Love it. Okay. 
I'm gonna open up the plugin. So it's here. I'm not touching anything. It just sounds so good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just put it in the full mix. Without, no. With. Just makes it a bit fuller, a bit punchier, which I really like. Now I'm gonna do a little bit here, not too much because I really think it sounds great. Maybe a little bit of bass, a little bit of treble. I bump the drive a tiny bit and bass. Now let's listen to the bass on its own only. Now with. That sounds really good. Now, the DI on its own sounds like this. Immediately you get that amp character, which is awesome. So that was the Nembrini Audio PSA 1000 Junior. And if you liked it, by the way, there is a Black Friday sale and it's going out for 20 bucks. And like I mentioned, I've got no affiliation with the company. I just really like what the plugin does. And if you're interested, I highly recommend you to download the trial version. And if you like it, you can always purchase it later. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.